Hello, I received a request for model this part of this tractor, and that's what I show you to do. So it looks like here's the problem area right here. And it looks like here's we got the result. Alright, so essentially I don't have a full reference of how exactly the shape is, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, kind of ballpark it, and we can go on from there. So essentially guys, in this video I want to show you just kind of the workflow, how to get this, and you can spend more time getting the correct proportions. So, let's go ahead and start with a plane. Alright, and essentially what we can do is first shape it out. So let's see, as you can see, it looks like it's kind of going down here. So let's insert a loop here, and we kind of move this down. We're going to apply Turbo Smooth early on, and we're going to go ahead and use Ice Line Display. That's going to go in down here, then it's also going to go in up here, so perhaps we can also kind of kind of move that up. So as you can see, we're, we're getting this curve here. We can move that up. Then it's kind of, kind of lifting up right here, so perhaps we can insert I don't know, a loop here. Then we can move that up. So we're just gonna shape it out. It's kind of difficult to do so and just have these two reference images. It would be good to have one more kind of at this angle at the top as well. But I would do what I can with just this. You see it's kind of being raised up here a little bit here, so we can kind of you know, raise that up. So we're just kind of moving edges very at a basic level, just to kind of get the shape here. Using new Edipal modifiers, we made some good progress. So it kind of seems like this is happening here, so what I would do, for example, is... Maybe have a cut. So you know, just just kind of just kind of shape it out like this. So it looks like we have something kind of similar happening here. Looks like it's kind of starting out wide here and coming together. So maybe something like that. Looks like it's kind of curving here as well. So let's. Take care of that. So in order to get that, I'll have a loop through here, loop through here, and I will weld these vertices like so to get this. And you can see after we've done that, we get a curve here because of how topology works here. And also after we've done that, we can kind of move this to kind of get this happening here. So guys, I'm just gonna just kind of shape things out like this. And if you want, you can get rid of the triangle. All right, so we're just kind of getting something like this. All right, so now that we've got that, we need to kind of get this shape right here. It looks like there's maybe a little bit of sharpness right here. So instead of using a support loop here, I think I'll just use a little bit of creasing. So I will select this here. And I will replace Turbo Smooth with Open Subdiv. And I will just kind of increase the crease just a little bit to get that kind of sharpness there. You can see how what point one gives us. And I'll say maybe that's good enough. So in order to get, the problem that I see right here with the uh, example is that if you look at the topology guys, it's just way too simple here. Because there's no loops in the middle here, there's no curve here, it's just a straight line. 
So we kind of get this, uh, this sharpness here, which we don't want. So the key to fixing that is to make sure we have enough topology to do that. So we don't want to do this. Maybe something like that, for example. So remember guys, the smaller your detail is, the more density you need. All right, so let's get something like that. All right. So in order to get this, we now can just, uh, you know, cut like that. And I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna hinge from edge. Something like that, you know, maybe even more. Once again, it's kind of hard to see what's happening here. Maybe, maybe we need more hinge from edge. Let's hinge from edge more. And then I'm gonna fix that up by target welding. And we get this and let's, uh, let's use open subdiv here. All right, so we are gonna get a little bit of bad results because we do have some bad topology. But we can fix that up, for example, by just target welding here and, you know, connecting this. And with just a little bit of work here, we can get a much better result here. So we can just do that. Let's see here. There we go. Turn on face constraints, kind of modify that, modify that. So we get this kind of nice result right here. And we can, of course, further crease this if necessary. All right, now as for all these details here, we don't actually have to model them inside of here. They are just surface details. So what I would do, for example, is just create objects on top of there. So we just, you know, here's the cylinder. All right, as for this thing, that can just be uh, a box on here. You can use, I like to use the Basachi script to align the pivot properly. All right, thank you for watching and take care.